Now, talking about Ghana Airways, you said they held your hands in the beginning. And yes. of course, uh, things had to change at a point in time yeah. where Ghana Airways was dissolved mm. and then we had Ghana International Airline. Airlines. Yes. And then now we don't have anything yeah. at all. Mm. How, how, how did it affect you? Oh, it did affect us because, I mean, obviously it, it, it wasn't the same because at a point you have to pay for flights and we had to look for sponsorship. I mean, one most difficult aspect of this journey is to play multiple roles, which is not easy. For example, you have to be on location, do the production, come back, do the marketing, go for meetings, check out who is interested. Sometimes you have to pre-finance, et cetera, et cetera. So many things happen. So it did really affect us. And, and I felt more affected because it was more exciting to promote your home airline. Mm. It was more exciting to talk to people about it. I could tell you that, I mean, I used to say it. I said, anytime I fly Ghana Airways, I just sit on the flight and I'm very happy to go to bed because I know I'll arrive safely. Ghanaian pilots are the best in the world. And they are all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I've flown several airlines that I just hear from the cockpit that the person is speaking. And I say, this is a Ghanaian, you know. And I'm so excited. And, and I get comfortable. Because they were extremely careful. They knew what they were about. And a lot of people were growing into that space. And I was mm -hmm. very happy about it. So when we didn't have an airline egg anymore, I, I thought it wasn't just those of us who were traveling. It was even those who were eager to grow into that space whose ambitions were curtailed. So you were disappointed. And were disappointed. And I thought that was a bit unfortunate. And I mean, to, to even live till today to see that the Ghana was building is still sitting there as a white elephant and nothing has been done to it and it's deteriorating. And whoever, whoever, did this turn around has actually done the service to us because it didn't turn out to be anything positive for us mm. and and as as a Ghanaian patriot <laughs> I always love my country I talk about my country I talk I promote my country yeah. and I feel so so uncomfortable to see that something that we could have grown into an amazing project amazing addition to our country and and would help a lot of businesses grow we, we've just killed it off hmm. it's quite sad but we are hoping that we'll be we able are praying. to bring I it mean, back again one day i put a flag up and i say bring ghana is back i think i have to start the company let's, let's, start the company. let's come. do this let's together do this. we can do it bring ghana is back please even if it is one aircraft bring it, back. bring it back we'll grow it into multiple when i get to airports and i see air you know planes line up with Country, Country names flags and, and flags. Nan I feel so. Mm. I know.